Hi, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Cancer may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you. And today, Cancer, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on the unexpected. What can happen here unexpectedly or what what things could be coming in your direction unexpectedly during these last three months of the 2024 year so again i'm focusing on october november december of 2024 but first for those of you who are new to my channel welcome my name is lexa tarot and i am a second degree breaking practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader and if you're interested in learning more about me my client testimonial or my credentials just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link for those of you who would like to follow me on my social media platforms just take a look underneath my banner and there you will see my um my social media links okay i'm mostly on instagram followed up by facebook all right um for those of you who are my subscribers my new viewers and visitors alike i want to thank each and every one of you for your love your support and your loyalty to our channel i greatly appreciate it as you know these are all free channeled messages the only thing i ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up like share or subscribe so that i know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages and if you know people in your social circle that you feel may benefit from these messages please feel free to share my youtube channel link with them if you haven't done so already turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload or whenever i go live on my live stream okay now um cancer just remember wait till the end of this reading because i have advice here for you as well but first let's take a look at what unexpected messages may be coming your way unexpected things that may be coming your way during the last three months of this year october november uh and december of 2024 okay unexpected here now remember this could be in any area of your life okay um but we have here the fourth chakra archangel raphael's we're talking about here or the energy of here your heart chakra so there could be here your heart chakra opening there could be here forgiveness apologies there could be here uh, more love coming in your direction uh being or feeling a deeper sense of love if you are in a connection then kind of uh, feeling that depth there um if you are single there could be here you know uh the love of self the love of friends family and loved ones here or new love coming in your direction but there's definitely here something unexpected having to do with the heart chakra here or the area of love in some way shape or form let's take a look what else is coming here unexpectedly for you for uh october november december of 2024 you have here stand still so in this energy of not uh, of standing still of 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 for some of you it's coming off as like letting go of blockages here okay so there's the sense here of like letting go of blockages here or unblocking something here having to do with the heart chakra so for some of you like i said there could be here reconciliations reunions accepting of apology asking for an apology mending fixing um repairing here okay this could be relationships this could be residual energies here having to do with the heart chakra but there's the sense here of you standing still and taking a look at whatever that may be for you in which area er, in whichever area that may be for you in regards to matters of the heart it's coming across as something from the past or you looking at the past in order for you either to close some chapters or to clear or deepen a bond here as uh, something unexpected coming your way let's take a look at the next deck here what else is coming here unexpectedly in your direction the last three months of this year of 2024 unexpected here let's see and we have here for you we have no okay so there could be something here that you're just like putting your foot down you're you're saying listen no it's time for me to 
pay attention to myself. It's time for me to clear. It's time for me to take a moment for myself. Okay. Maybe there's just going to be a lot of things happening towards the ending of the year. Okay. Maybe the hustle and bustle, and maybe here it's time for you, maybe during that time for you to do a check-in with your heart. Check in. Does this feel right to me? Okay. Do you know, do I need to do X, Y, and Z? Am I doing it for myself or am I just doing it to people, please? So this is a time here that's coming out, uh, coming up as the unexpected with you checking in with yourself by taking a moment to, to, to take a pause and figuring out what feels right to you. Are you pouring into yourself or are you over pouring here, especially with the hands here? Take a look at the hands. This person has a lot of water or this angel, right? Or this ethereal being has a lot of water coming out of the hands. Are you war watering too many things around you and not watering yourself? Well, that's something that you uh, could think about here during the last three months of the 2024 year, Cancer, okay? Let's take a look here at what other unexpected messages here or something unexpected here that you need to know about in the last three months of the year. And you have here transition. Like I just said, there may be here maybe a lot of transitions, maybe a hustle and bustle, maybe something that you just need to take a moment and to, you know, just check in with yourself. But whatever this may be, there could be here an unexpected, uh, overwhelming clearing, mending, fixing, uh, repairing here, or even just adding more love to a certain situation, circumstance, or maybe to yourself here towards the ending of 2023. I'm sorry, 2024. Interesting. I don't know why that came through, but some of you that that thing that I was talking about here may have had to deal with 2023. Not for all of you, but maybe for some of you. Um, so again, sign symbol synchronicities here uh, always... You know, there's always a reason for that. For some of you, this is something stemming from 2023. For others of you, though, this is feeling that there could be just like a rapid movement or momentum here that you need to, again, recalibrate your emotions, recalibrate your heart, because it may be a little bit overwhelming here for some of you. And again, there's this um, energy here of doing things step by step, not rushing anything, but rather taking the time to go with the flow of either this transition that may occur here towards the last um, three months of the year or the momentum, meaning kind of like just taking one step at a time so that you don't overwhelm yourself here, okay? Last but not least, before I give uh, you this advice over here, let's take a look what's coming through. Six of Wands, whatever it is or the manner in which you will do this towards the last three months of the year, it's coming up as successful. You have here the Six of Wands. So after the internal or external situation, circumstance, event, challenges, or blockages, there's going to be here a sense of not only you being victorious, but also here a sense of recognition. So you may be recognized here for something, maybe by others, maybe by your friends, family, loved ones. Being in the spotlight here is um, is also coming through here for some of you. So maybe just taking certain things a little bit easy here and then being able to reap the rewards here towards the end of the year. Looks very, very beautiful. Six of Wands is other people acknowledging that you've uh, done this achievement or recognizing you for this achievement, but also being in the spotlight. So there could be here the sense of you just, um, you know, going with the flow, but knowing when to say no when you are overpouring in areas that are taking away from your sanity, from your uh, internal peace, from your heart space. Last but not least, let's take a look here at advice. What advice do we have here for you? In regards to these unexpected messages here for you for the last three months of the year, and we have here Dragon Supernatural. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. 
Yeah, so there's this very, very powerful force here that you're going to be working with. And I feel it has a lot to do with your heart chakra here, Pisces. I'm sorry, Cancer. I hope these messages have been insightful. For some of you, it might have to do with the Pisces. Who knows? Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like, share, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.